families, my name is Harold Sanchez. I'm the family liaison here at Bruce Randolph School. This is my sixth year at the school, and today we'll be talking about the school choice process. School choice uh, will begin on January 15th through February 16th, where families have the opportunity to choice in their, their students um, for the upcoming school year. This is mainly for our fifth grade families entering sixth grade and our eighth grade families entering to Go to schoolfinder.dpsk12.org and explore schools. Then create an account at dpsschoolmint.net slash sign in. You will need a valid email address to create an account. Once you have created an account, log in and rank your school preference. You have between January 15th and February 16th to do this. Finally, look for school placement results in late March. If you have questions or need help, call the number at the top of the screen or email schoolchoice.dpsk12.org. Okay, families, we're here in our school atrium. Um, I wanted to give you a brief tour of our school building and we'll first start off with our school cafeteria. If you wanna follow me, we're gonna go down to our cafeteria. Um, so, Daddy Bruce Randolph, who was he, right? Um, Daddy Bruce was a philanthropist, a restaurant owner, um, and a person who dedicated his life and gave back to the community. Um, as uh, you may know, he uh, started at Thanksgiving um, Day Drive a long time ago, and that has continued uh, to expand over the years. Um, and our cafeteria is, um, our cafeteria has a gallery walk of, of him and, and his uh, life. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, murals and pictures um, dedicating um, the life of Daddy Bruce Randolph. We also have our um, school values, um, brilliance, respect, unity, character, and um, effort. Um, our students and staff um, live these values um, in and outside of school every day. We'll move on to our um, gymnasium. Um, if you want to follow me here, going back outside to the school atrium. Our middle schoolers are in the second floor and our high schoolers are in the first floor. Um, when they transition to each class, um, they'll most likely, if they have gym or music, um, they'll, that's when they kind of interact. Um, during transitions. Um, this is our gymnasium. We have a brand new mural here, which is really cool to see. Um, we have a really, really strong athletics program and um, phys ed program as well. Um, Mr. Brian Hall is one of our uh, physical education, education teachers here. He recently won um, Teacher of the Year, which is really cool um, as we have a really strong PE program. Um, for example, our students use heart monitors as part of their um, class grade. So it's really cool to see how our students are involving technology and um, physical, physical education in our building. All right, families, if you want to follow me, we're going to go down to um, the main hallway outside the, the gym here. Um, important note, um, as families come in and want to check in, um, this is an area to do so if you want to take your students Outside of school, they'll check in and um, we'll call students down. To support our social emotional needs of our students, um, Denver Health has full-time um, nurse, psychologist, um, health educator, and we also have uh, therapy um, dogs in our building, which is really neat. Um, and we also um, had a partnership with Colorado State University um, where our students um, would, en would engage with um, horses, a therapeutic horse program that we, um, we had um, with National Western Stock Show. We have college readiness counselors from Denver Scholarship Foundation. If you have any questions about college access, scholarship opportunities, how to apply to, uh, to, to colleges, um, this is a place um, that they'll go and, and be able to um, get all their questions answered. Really cool space. Um, for our students to also come in and be able to get some work done and concentrate in a quiet um, space here. If you want to follow me this way, we also have an excellent art program. Um, our students have been involved with social justice work um, in years past 
and, and sharing their, expressing their, um, their thoughts through art. Um, if you want to follow me, we'll go down this way to the atrium and, and head upstairs to our middle school floor. Now we're going to go upstairs to our um, middle school wing upstairs. So if you want to follow me, we're going to go this way. Our library media center, which is here to the left. Um, really cool space. Mostly our, our older high school students um, hang out here and um, study during their um, free time, um, free periods. It's a cool space. You can see the mountains um, from there. And this is our, mainly our middle school wing. Um, our middle schoolers um, mostly have their classes here, except if they have gym, music, or art, which are in the first floor. Um, what's really important to note is that our, our middle schoolers are a little older, right? So they're gonna have more classes. It's gonna be very different from elementary where you usually have one teacher, one classroom, um, in middle and high school, you're going to have multiple teachers, multiple classrooms, so students need to transition um, within three minutes after each um, class bell. So, all right, families, thank you so much for joining me today in our virtual school tour. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me. Uh, my name is Harold Sanchez again, and I'm the school liaison here at Bruce Randolph School. Take care and have a good one.